Hello students, I'm um, Ms. Ndongu and I would like to get you through this topic, structure and bonding. This is chemistry from two work. And just to remind ourselves about periodic table, where we have got the elements in the periodic table, the metals and non-metals. And in this topic, we shall look at how do these elements bond? How do, um, say, a metal bond with another metal, or maybe a non-metal bonds with another non-metal? or maybe a metal bonding with a non-metal. For instance, sodium as a metal bonding with a, a non-metal chlorine. And in this case, bonding occurs, or chemical bonding occurs after a chemical reaction. If there's a re reaction between sodium and chlorine to form sodium chloride, the sodium chloride has got a bond. And that is what we want to look at. And then again, you also want to look at the structure structure of sodium chloride those bonded elements after the uh, after a reaction how is the structure occur for instance sodium chloride structure is crystal like so how do that structure occur and that is the topic of today so what is a chemical bonding we can say that a chemical bonding is a mutual force of attraction that holds the particles together during a chemical reaction the force of attraction, for instance, between sodium and chlorine, the force of attraction between the two is what we are calling chemical bond. Well, the types of bonds, there are three types of bonds, ionic bond. But before I talk about ionic bond, uh, if you can remember, we, uh, when you want to, when you have uh, something like sodium chloride, what is the chemical formula? That is the chemical formula of sodium chloride. Uh, but in this case, the sodium has got a valence electron of one and chlorine has got a valence electron of one, negative one. So when they are forming that uh, reaction, when there's a reaction between sodium and chlorine, we'll form a formula of sodium chloride like that. That means they had exchanged their uh, valences. Their valences. Uh, if I give another example, for instance, magnesium and oxygen. Magnesium has a valency of two plus Oxygen has a valency of negative two plus two negative, sorry. And when the, you want to form, when you are writing the chemical formula of magnesium oxide, we'll be having magnesium and oxygen there. This means they have exchanged their valence electrons. Other example is magnesium and chlorine. Magnesium has a valency of two plus, chlorine has a valency of negative one. So if you are to exchange these and form the chemical formula, uh, write, uh, write the chemical formula, we are going to have magnesium chloride with a two. This means we exchange the chemical, uh, the valence electrons. And this is how we are going to show the chem chemical formulas, the bonding. And you have to put in mind that bonding occurs through the exchange of valence electrons. So when an element loses or gains an electron, it gains its stability. I'm assuming this you already know. For an element to, get, uh, to gain its stability, it has, for an element to, element to be stable, it has to gain an electron. It can also lose an electron from sharing. All those are ways in which an element can gain its stability. For instance, sodium will gain its stability by losing an electron. Chlorine will gain its stability by gaining an electron. Something like oxygen will, uh, will gain electrons to be stable. So in that case, this is how we are going to show when those elements they are stable, they are going to either gain or lose. That is in a, an ionic bonding. In ionic bonding, an element, one element will gain an electron, the other element is going to lose. This is because ionic bonding is usually between metals and non-metals. In most cases, ionic bonding occurs between metals and non-metals. We are going to show uh, for uh, an, an example, simple uh, example of uh, ionic bonding in sodium chloride, sodium chloride, ionic bonding in sodium chloride. So in this case, we have to remind ourselves about the configuration, the configuration of sodium chloride. The uh, sodium chloride, its uh, chem uh, chemical configuration is 2, 8, 1. Chlorine, chemical configuration of chlorine is 2, 8, 7. 
That means sodium has got 11 electrons, chlorine has got 17 electrons. Now, for sodium to gain uh, stability or to be stable, it has to lose one electron so that it can remain with 2, 8. That is 10 electrons. For sodium, chlorine to gain, uh, to be stable, it has to gain one electron. So where is it going to get this one electron? When sodium loses an electron, sodium loses this electron, chlorine is going to gain it. So we show these in chemical bonding, we are going to show these in structure form. So uh, this topic, uh, there is a topic by uh, name atoms. That was the chemistry first topic. An atom, what is the structure of an atom? What is the structure of sodium atom? A structure of sodium atom usually have a nuclear, the first energy level with two electrons, the second energy level with eight electrons, that is a structure of sodium. And then the outermost energy level has got one electron. That is structure of sodium. And then what is the structure of chlorine? Chlorine, uh, chlorine has got uh, two electrons in the innermost energy level, eight electrons in the outermost energy level, and then seven electrons in the outermost energy level level seven electrons in the outermost energy level this shows a chemical structure of sodium and chlorine a chemical structure of sodium chlorine so sodium is going to lose an electron chlorine is going to gain it sodium is going to lose an electron chlorine is going to gain it so in a simple way we can show it here how the bonding occur between sodium and chlorine and this one is ionic bond. So you have sodium there. This is the structure of sodium. Has got eight electrons in the second energy level and one electron in the outermost energy level. It combines with chlorine. Chlorine has got two electrons in the innermost energy level, eight electrons in the second most energy level and seven electrons in the outermost energy level. Seven electrons. Use crosses and dots to differentiate between the elements. So this is sodium atom and chlorine atom. We are, uh, we are looking for the bond between the two. So what happens here is that sodium here loses an electron to chlorine. Sodium loses an electron to chlorine. You can use an arrow to show the losing of electron or the transfer of electron so that sodium can remain with sodium is going to remain with eight electrons i mean two electrons in the innermost energy level and eight electrons in the outermost energy level when it is in that form losing an electron meaning it becomes an ion and you put a plus there showing that it has lost an ion, I mean uh, an electron. It has lost an electron, therefore it becomes an ion. The, th the same case here with chlorine. Chlorine gains an electron. We showed that. Chlorine has got two electrons in the innermost energy level, eight electrons in the uh, second most energy level, and it has got, now has gained one electron from chlorine, so therefore it has got eight electrons in the outermost energy level. It has got eight electrons in the outermost energy. Now that it has gained an electron, it becomes an ion. And we put a negative there to show that it has gained or it has borrowed an electron. Therefore, it becomes an ion. Chlorine with a negative. So what is the chemical, for, uh, I mean, what is the chemical configuration of sodium as an ion, sodium ion? This is 2, 8. And then chlorine chemical configuration is 2, 8, 8. That is chlorine ion. That is bond, ionic bonding in sodium uh, chloride. Ionic bonding in sodium chloride. So, in simple terms, you can say the ionic bonding is the complete transfer of electrons from one element to the other. Like we have shown here. Sodium has transferred its electron to chlorine. That is complete transfer of electron from one element to the other. Ionic bonding complete transfer of electron 
And in this case, you can use the valence electron because previously I've shown you how the valence electrons are used to form the chemical formula. So ionic bonding can say it is the complete transfer of uh, an electron from one element to the other, and as a result, we form ions. For instance, here we have formed sodium ion and chlorine ion. Maybe to emphasize on this, we can look at another example, another maybe complex example, a chemical bond between magnesium and chlorine. We show chemical bonding between magnesium and chlorine. So what is the chemical formula of magnesium? Chloride, magnesium has got a valence electron of 2 plus and chlorine has a valence electron of 1. When they exchange the uh, valence electrons, you form magnesium and chlorine with the two there. So that is the chemical formula. The first thing here is to know how to write the chemical formula. You have to know how to write the chemical formula. So magnesium has got a chemical configuration of 2, 8, Two, those are 12 electrons. Chlorine has got a chemical configuration of 2, 8, 7. This means that magnesium is going to lose two electrons, while chlorine is going to gain an electron. But from the chemical formula, there are two chlorines. So each chlorine is going to gain an electron. There are two chlorines. Each chlorine gain, uh, requires an electron to be stable. So how do we show that? You show the magnesium, uh, the structure of magnesium, Magnesium has got two electrons in the innermost energy level, has got eight electrons in the second energy level. It has got two electrons in the outermost energy level. And then magnesium combines with chlorine. And remember there are two chlorines, so you must show that there are two chlorines. First chlorine here. The innermost energy level of chlorine has got two electrons. The second energy level has got eight electrons. You use crosses and dots to show the differences between the elements. The uttermost energy level has got seven electrons. That is in chlorine. So that is the first chlorine. You have got magnesium here. And then you have the other chlorine. Remember these two chlorines, you're getting them from the chemical formula. The chemical formula of magnesium chloride. You have magnesium and chlorine, two chlorines. So chlorine has got two electrons in the innermost energy level. It has got eight electrons in the outermost energy level. And of course, seven electrons in the outermost energy level seven electrons in the outermost energy level. So when you are showing the uh, transfer of electrons, when you are showing the transfer of electrons from magnesium, magnesium has got two electrons, it requires to lose two electrons to be stable. So it has to lose this electron here and the other electron. Each chlorine gains an electron. So one electron will uh, be there, will be transferred there, the other electron will be transferred there. So as a result, magnesium is going to lose the two electrons and it result a magnesium ion having a charge of two plus losing two electrons so this is the structure of magnesium ion after losing two electrons the innermost energy level has got two electrons the outermost energy level remains with eight electrons and to show that he has lost its form to an ionic form you put it into brackets and write it two there 2 plus, this is magnesium 2 plus, magnesium ion with a chemical configuration of 2, 8. Very stable. Then we have uh, chlorine. Chlorine has gained an electron from magnesium. Chlorine has got two electrons in the innermost energy level. It has got eight electrons in the second energy level. And of course it has gained an electron from magnesium Therefore, it will be having uh, eight electrons, one from magnesium and seven of its own. And then put it into brackets showing that it is in an ionic form. It has gained an electron, so we put a negative there. And this is chlorine with two, eight, eight. Chlorine 
ion. And because there are two chlorines, so I can just write two there, show that two chlorine ions have been formed. That is ionic bonding. Next time we shall look at the covalent bonding as the next type of uh, structure and bonding. Thank you.